The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, master herbologist and chief formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality, delivers 10 key herbs that work synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say, is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Female Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listening to active participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years. And I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documented facts. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free. Free screen should sound the alarm against those who would destroy freedom. For in its power to deceive and inflame, or enlighten and inspire, the motion picture has no equal. We are now living the 1984 reality, but there's the old parallel liberties of private property, family, guns, male and female roles. Top globalists uh, back in 1961 before he died published Brave New World Revisited. Aldous Huxley at the time his brother ran the UN, uh, the real UN, the scientific end of it, scientific technocracy, eugenicist end of it. He was the head of the World Eugenics Society, by the way, at the time, and that was Julian Huxley. And he gave an hour-long speech at Berkeley that we've played the whole thing of here multiple times over the last 18, 19 years on air. And in that speech, he said, look, I debated my colleague, Eric Blair, George Orwell, as his pen name, and I said, he will not be the boot stamping in the black uniform. That's waiting in the wings for those in the first few phases that resist. No, it will be being brought to puberty at age eight, uh, and population reduction, Brave New World is the model. My book published in 1932 is not so much a science fiction book as it is our plan for the world. 
and you will love your servitude and your destruction and your enslavement. Ah, and the people at Berkeley are clapping. Ah, oh, we'll get to rule over the program. <clears throat> and they put fluoride in our water to brain damage us and dumb us down. We're becoming infertile. People are going into puberty when they're eight now, and you know the plan's going quite well. Aha, they're feeding us GMO. Uh, and again, I'm not being negative. I've been down here in Port Aransas fishing and, uh, with my children. You know, we were not into fancy vacations. They just like, you know, just the Texas beach, swimming in the pool and stuff. Uh, and I've run into, let's not exaggerate. Let's not exaggerate. The manager of the, of the condos we're staying at is a listener. Half the lifeguards are listeners. It's a giant pool, the biggest down here. Uh, and I've run into just, I'd say, half of the middle-aged men I walk by are listeners. Uh, the people at the restaurant are listeners. And it's just everywhere I go, people are listeners. And then they say, what do we do? I mean, you are the majority. And I'm not even bragging. I mean, when a 18-year-old female lifeguard knows who I am, and says that her dad listens and she listens. I mean, the New World Order is in trouble. I'm not bragging, ooh, I'm a celebrity. I don't like being this popular going up against the globalist. They're trying to indict Steve Pachinik, that's on record, for running CIA operations in the 80s that were sanctioned, mainly because he comes on this show, and he's been told don't come on this show. MI6 has visited him, and he's had a bunch of stuff happen. I mean, that's how real this is, folks, that I have to deal with my guests being murdered, like the D.C. madam and others. I have to deal with being physically attacked before. And I'm not saying boo-hoo, woe is me. Do you realize, folks, that I'm in combat in the info war, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the globalist, and their dirty tricks and all the rest of it, because they can track with Google and the NSA the fact that our audience, they know how big our audience is, we don't. They've got a better handle on it. I don't have all the systems to know how many people listen. I know it's about 20 million that, that we can track each week. Do you think they like that? I want to go back to your calls. It's just that they've got war games, computer algorithms now, where they can tell what things will tend to do politically off of similar things they've done before. They can almost predict the future. But they can't predict you wild carding and as an individual not following their programming. And those two nexus points are coming together right now. We're, we're at the flashpoint. Here are some of the headlines, and then I'll go to your phone calls and get any comments uh, David Knight has on this. Uh, let me pull up, pull up Drudge. I just had Drudge. Drudge, I think, has the best coverage of the uh, Bergdahl situation. We can put it up on screen for TV viewers. Video, Bergdahl's release. We can show some of that in the background. Report, had been made to look ill. Report, wanted to renounce citizenship. Team leader, a lot more to the story than soldier walking away. Yeah, uh, my gut tells me he was sheep dipped and this was super elaborate. And that's why he's, he has such courage, they say, and all the rest of it. I mean, I don't, I think they're really trying to fool the economy network. Three more members of Bergdahl's platoon speak out. White House apologizes for oversight and congressional notification. It's an oversight when the law says 30 day over, uh, notification. Just like getting rid of your Bill of Rights and Constitution is an oversight, and signing statements are an oversight, and saying NATO's over our military is an oversight, and doubling your health care costs is an oversight. Miscalculated reaction. Who wrote Rice's talking points this time? Ranking dim, dangerous precedent that puts all Americans at risk. Yeah, it does. Rubio, Obama believes he's become monarch or emperor, law professor, President Nixon always wanted to be what President Obama has become. Again, why do you have Rubio, this neocon, golden boy? We don't need a gimmick to get a libertarian or constitutionalist elected so we run a Hispanic. I'd vote for Hispanic in a minute if they were like Ted Cruz, and I would vote for Ted Cruz for president. But it doesn't mean it's because he's Hispanic I would vote for him or has a Hispanic Spanish last name. It's because he can do a 28-hour filibuster. He's fought Obamacare. He's fought for the Second Amendment. They would have passed gun control if it wasn't for Ted Cruz and Rand Paul and the American people. Okay, I'm ranting. I said I'd take calls. 
The point is we don't need gimmicks, but why is Rubio talking like that now? He's got to sound like a libertarian constitutionalist like Ted Cruz or Rand Paul to win. The answer is radicalize the libertarian arm of the Republican Party. The Republican Party is ready to fall to the liberty movement. They admit that. They're panicking. All hands on deck with the Democrats and Republican leadership trying to kill the Tea Party. That's why I'm full in to the Tea Party, the real Tea Party, to take over the Republicans. That's our shot. 2014 is everything. But now you notice that we got called kooks saying he was becoming a dictator just three years ago. Now it's, oh yeah, he's becoming a dictator. It's passe, Democrats, Republicans, because we're the majority. We've told the truth. What we said is coming true. They have Democrats have websites saying that, you know, I mean, every day, I saw two of them yesterday without looking. Alex Jones is crazy. He says Obama's becoming a dictator. Oh, he's so kooky. Ah, ha, ha. Look at him. That's so weak-minded people. Read that and think, ah, ha, ha. The military is going to be on the streets. Obama's becoming a dictator. How funny. They're literally just using peer pressure with mindless Democrats that can't even tie their shoelaces. I mean, I'm a liberal, okay? I want more freedom. You are fascist scumbags. There are a lot of well-meaning liberals who are freaked out by Obama, and they don't trust the Republicans either. I don't either. But when the whole leadership is after the real Tea Party, you better believe they know that's where the opposition is. Will they try to co-opt it? Will there be problems? Of course there will be. But the Tea Party's not going to come after getting rid of the borders completely and legalize 30 million more illegals and take our guns and, 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 and you know openly fund al-Qaeda and, and, and you know say our kids belong to the state. I mean, this is Mao Zedong level what's going on. They're just attempting to normalize a total takeover. All right, I'm going to go to your phone calls. Just please remember, we have the very best nascent iodine out there. The new X2 is beyond even the previously best, which was still available and good for kids and things. It's not as strong, more palatable. That's the regular survival shield that's done wonders for myself. The new X2, the new X2, ladies and gentlemen, is from crystals. Nobody else has this source. It's other seaweed-based. This is multi-million-year-old ancient crystals from an ancient sea mined between seven and 10,000 feet, and it goes right into the bloodstream, right into the body, detoxifying. What it's done for me is just incredible. I've been on it a couple months before it officially came out, and people can just see the difference in my skin, my energy. I mean, I work a lot harder than I used to. I have more stamina. I chalk it up 2X2 and the regular survival shield, the super male vitality, and the super female vitality that will sell out in the next few days. We've got an additional 900 bottles or so. It had sold out as of Monday. We have an additional 900 bottles. You've heard the rave reviews. And regardless, you're funding our operation, InfoWarsLife.com or 888 253 3139. And I want to thank you all for your support and for getting the great products at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com. Okay, David Knight, tell us what's coming up in the second and third hour today, and then I want to race through phone calls right into the next hour. I want you to continue with these calls. Well, Alex, we're going to talk about the uh, 25th anniversary of Tiananmen Square because, you know, CNN is patting itself on the back, talking about the CNN effect, how it was a watershed moment for CNN. And really, we want to compare what they did with the... CNN coverage of Tiananmen Square to what CNN did when we had the standoff at the Nevada Ranch, uh, the and, and Bunkerville, uh, the Bundy Ranch. Perfect. Show the footage of you and Josh valiantly walking up as they were threatening to shoot you, and then tie it into uh, Ceausescu. People hailed the pokes overthrowing them. You didn't overthrow anybody. You just stood up against thugs threatening you, and you're being called a terrorist by Harry Reid. That's right, Alex. And you know we see that there's a, t a CNN reporter who was just arrested in Turkey for covering anti-government disrest there. They, that was a very brave thing that he did, and they allowed that to go through. That, that was a good thing. But, you know, at the same time, remember that Amber Lyons reports about what was going on essentially identical to that uh, anti-government protests in Bahrain. They shut down her report. So what does it tell us about the controlled media? And when we look back at 25 years from China, how does it, what, what have we learned about how China the Chinese government has controlled information about Tiananmen Square. today. And China, the globalist in Australia and the U.S. And, and Russia, admit the Chinese model of censorship is the model. We've got to study it. Incredible job. Look forward to those special reports coming up and phone calls in the next two hours. And Daniel Estelin, thank you so much, David Knight. Thank you, Alex. All right, now, I've, I've been bad. Please don't ask me thought-provoking questions. It gets me off on a jag. Let's go to your calls. Jay Lynn in Texas, thanks for calling. You're on the air. Go ahead. Okay. First point, what, uh, 
Ted Cruz did. Uh, it was not a filibuster. Well, it technically was, but they didn't count it as one because if they were already scheduled to uh, rule on the vote at a certain time period. So everybody got to call him out. But a rose is a rose by any other name. Second, yeah. Second point.